Hi everybody, my name is Peter. I'm the general manager here at the Jasper Planetarium and I'd like to welcome you to your live virtual tour here in Jasper National Park and Dark Sky Preserve. Thanks Peter. I'd like to welcome you to our 40 seat dome theater where we share world exclusive virtual views above the skies of Jasper. Let's head into the planetarium. As darkness falls on the mountains of Jasper National Park, we can start to see not only the stars, but some star patterns. For a closer look at this, here's our friend and colleague First Nations Elder, storyteller and author, Wilfred Buck with the story of the grizzly bear in the heavens above. So this story concerns the asterism known as the uh, Big Dipper. For a lot of First Nations people, this story represents various animals. And the foremost among them is the Big Bear. And then uh, the Cree language is called Mistamasqua. Have you ever seen the Northern Lights before? Here in Jasper, we get a decent auroral display about once a week on average, even through the summer. Here's another way to think of the aurora the next time you see them. Because these lights are the product of flames from the sun hitting the Earth's atmosphere, we are literally looking at our local star reaching out across 150 million kilometers of space and tickling the Earth's magnetosphere. Wow! Seeing the aurora may be the closest you and I will ever come to touching a star. Now I'm going to showcase to you kind of how that works using this plasma ball behind me. As I hold them close to our sun, the charged particles travel through space and they excite them to make them glow. So this purple color here is the noble gas argon. This orange color that is really, really excitable, I can hold it really, really far away. This is neon. And the last gas I'm going to showcase to you is Krypton, not kryptonite. Another nickel and iron meteorite. Now moving on to our next meteorite there. Um, I will stay, just say that that's probably the oldest thing you're likely to see in your life. We got a piece of the moon sitting on the table right there. How cool is that? That's a piece of Mars sitting on the table right there, an entire different planet on that table right there. Hello, welcome back outside. Thanks for joining me. We are here and we have a beautiful clear sky tonight. Now I do want to look at a few other things in the sky now that you've seen one of my favorite star clusters of all. I think next up we should check out an object that's even further away. In fact, it's about 2.5 million light years away from us. To give you an idea of size of this object, the Milky Way contains about 300 billion stars. It's a lot of stars. <laughs> and yet, the Andromeda galaxy is even bigger than that. In fact, it contains up to a trillion stars. That's a trillion with a T. <laughs> so you may not be too surprised when I tell you that despite this object being so far away, you can see it with your naked eye. Really beautiful. And also you just picked an amazing night to see it. There's not a cloud and in view right now, so we can really get a beautiful view of this nebula. Uh, but when those clouds of gas come together, and the proportions are right of, again, the ingredients of a star, basically hydrogen and helium, they're going to come together and form new stars. So this is what we would call a sort of a nursery nebula, where new stars are being born. I just want to thank you for those awesome questions. Whoever asked those, good for you. You're really thinking creatively, and it's Good to have a, you know, an audience who's really interested and has good questions like that. So I, I hope I was able to, you know, answer those questions well and sh really show you some of the incredible wonders of our night sky here in Jasper. It's such a privilege for us here to be able to do this for you. And I really hope you enjoyed your experience and maybe you'll join us again. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.